I first started um, my business about five years ago. At that time, I just gave birth to my twin daughters. And um, prior to that, I had my husband who was pestering me to start something in fashion. I was running another business back then um, before I had children, before I got pregnant, which was an artist management company as well as an acting class company. And um, that, didn't, that didn't, well, it didn't, it didn't fail, but it wasn't really bringing in a lot of money. So we ended that. It was called Sinclair Fala, and my partners were Aisha and Ashraf Sinclair. And then um, got pregnant and everything. And I've always been into fashion. And for a couple of years, my husband kept saying, try something in fashion. But only after giving birth to my twins, I finally warmed up to the idea and online fashion or online shopping was at that point becoming more and more popular and I thought, hmm, I could try something. And it was very organic, it was just on my mum's dining table. I was looking for things that I could buy and then sell again. At the same time, I was creating some new designs. I always wear a lot of kimonos and I thought kimonos were just very practical for um, weathers, uh, weather such as ours. And, um, and I love batik, so I started doing kimono batiks and it really started from there and then went on to me creating like full-on collections and fast forward five, six years later, I'm here. Um, first of all, I welcome competition and competition comes in many different ways. Uh, but what is great about competition is it got me to work harder um, think outside the box, you know, think blue strategy, blue ocean, sorry, think blue ocean strategies to stay relevant and to stay on top because it's always, we're always going to have competition, especially in an industry like, you know, fashion. Um, at the same time, I also knew who are my target market or who is my target market. And paying attention to your target market is very important so that you know what you can do to cater to those who are already buying from you. Um, of course, I do a lot of research, you know, find out what's um, in in the industry. But at the same time, um, I was also very clear about my brand's identity. I'm now actually distributing it in many different channels, so offline and online. So we're creating bigger numbers now, producing bigger numbers, which is, um, to be very honest, very freaky for me. But it is to grow the company, to grow the brand. So we're very lucky because we have a lot of people who want to carry our brands in their stores as well as their um, online platforms. So it's growing and at the same time participating in more trade shows outside the country and um, getting Sandy for like collection to be known globally. Words of inspiration. Um, know what you're getting yourself into. But at the same time, it's all about perseverance and it's knowing that you will fail a couple of times but don't let that failure stop you from succeeding in the end because um, failing is part of the process. So there will be times when you fail but just know to pick yourself up again and then continue. Learn from your, learn from your mistakes and move on and move forward. For those of you who are going for the 100 MIYE event, make sure you guys have lots of fun. It's going to be fantastic. Okay.